a booking photo of Dwayne Keith D. Davis, photographed off of a television monitor, during a news conference on September 29, 2023 at the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department headquarters on the arrest and indictment for the 1996 murder of Tupac Shocker. Tupac Shocker's stepbrother is happy Dwayne Keith D. Davis has been charged with his murder but remains angry it's taken almost 30 years for cops to arrest him. Wapreem Shocker told the Post Friday he still doesn't understand how Davis has been free and even capitalized on his beloved brother's death with interviews and a book boasting about his involvement for so many years. I am a little numb because the timing is so curious because why now 27 years after his death? Shocker said. Davis has said this whole time that he was in the car when his nephew, Orlando Anderson, shot my brother. This didn't have to happen. During a press conference on Friday in Las Vegas, Chief Deputy District Attorney Mark D. Giacomo described Davis as the on-ground, on-site commander and shot caller who ordered the death of Tupac Shocker. A Nevada grand jury indicted Davis on one count of murder with a deadly weapon and a gang enhancement and he was arrested Friday. In his memoir Compton Street Legend, Davis admitted he was inside a white Cadillac with Anderson and two others as they pulled up to Shocker's vehicle on the Las Vegas Strip the night of September 7, 1996 and opened fire. Two, Polk, 25, was shot four times and died in a hospital six days later. Davis wrote in his memoir that Tupac Shocker and his entourage beat up Anderson earlier that night at the MGM Grand Hotel after a Mike Tyson boxing match, spurring him and his crew to retaliate. Davis has claimed Anderson pulled the trigger in retaliation against Shocker. Both he and Anderson were members of the Southside Compton Crips gang of which Davis claims he was a five-star general. Wapreem said Las Vegas detectives reached out to him a few months ago and reassured him they were still investigating the case. In July, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police raided Davis Henderson, Nevada home and confiscated several computers, laptops and iPads from the home, as well as .40 caliber cartridges, according to a search warrant obtained by the Post. The timing was very curious and I was a little taken aback because this should have happened a long time ago, Wapreem said. People talk, but that doesn't mean there was anything to it. And then I found out that the detective and the case suddenly retired. I was just baffled by the bull, T, but someone else in the department did say they were still working on things and it's moving. At the press conference, Di Giacomo said while investigators had the information on what led to the fatal shooting, there were still some holes. What was lacking was admissible evidence to establish this chain of events, the prosecutor said. Davis, admitted within that book that he did acquire the firearm with the intent to go hunt down Mr. Shocker and Mr. Knight. Wapreem Shocker said he had angered him knowing Davis would use his brother's name and death to gain attention over the years. It was just a blatant disregard for the memory of my father, who is the greatest rapper of all time and is an icon, Wapreem said. I am not a lawyer or a cop, but I do watch a lot of law and order. And he said so himself that he was definitely involved. He admitted this. But now we are here and I want to know about the motive and any other accomplices. I'm just bracing to see this indictment. Anderson and the other two men who were with Davis on the night of Tupac's shooting have all died, leaving no other witnesses who have come forward to say what happened that night. Wapreem said he plans to be in court once the trial starts. When asked what he would say to Davis if he had the chance, he paused before adding, I really haven't really thought about that because I might just black out. I don't know how much I would be able to control myself.